Hi there. Welcome back to the Rare Book Views channel where I talk about how much I like books and collecting and rare vintage books, special books, unusually good books, books for my friends. And I want to say thank you to everybody who has sent me cool comments and encouraging thoughts about this strange venture of mine. I, the last video, people sent me the coolest stories about their moms and how their moms introduced them to reading and fun ways to remember your mom who was a reader so great made my day thank you so much for everybody who did that if you like this video also please let me know today i'm going book shopping and i'm going to one of my favorite places is giant warehouse it is very strange there are many aisles that don't make any sense uh, they move them around they reorganize a ton there's always good people watching the people who work in the store fascinating and usually good books the last time i was there it was sort of post christmas and there were not a lot of books. It was a little bit on the thin side. So I don't know what I'm gonna find, but I always have fun even if I don't find very many books. So let's go see what there is. successful trip to the bookstore it was a really nice day it was a nice drive it's a little bit away from my house so sometimes it feels like a time commitment but it was pretty good the people watching was top-notch a lot of competition in the bookstore a lot, of, a lot of people trying to look over other people's shoulders like we were gonna find something before them one of the, the manager I think of this location was speed walking around shelving books himself which I don't see very often there was a room closed off, and I actually was a little bit intimidated by this. The something, something personal collection, you had to get special permission to go in there, and there was a lot of muttering about that. Anyways, great time. I found a couple of things. I found one thing for the present shelf, and I, when that box gets shipped, I will show you, because people have told me I should probably, when I do these videos and I say I bought things for presents eventually, you should get to know what it is, you will. And then I found some pretty fun things. I found this book. The Master of Disguise by Antonio Mendez. This is the main character in the movie Argo. And I heard the coolest interview with his ex-wife on NPR, I think. Wait, wait, don't tell me. And she was also very fascinating. This book came out, it looks like the hardback came out in 99. And I've never heard of it, so it's not on my list to want. But I'm excited about it. It cost me a grand total of $3.00. It looks like it's in perfect condition and I enjoyed the movie Argo so I think I'm gonna enjoy this and I was super psyched to find a book I didn't know about it's gonna be great I will put this on the next sort of the back burner to be read shelf I have a shelf that I'm working on and then I don't feel bad about all the books I buy that I don't have time to read I'll get to them eventually 
uh, I also found a cool copy of Ulysses. Um, this is one, a friend of mine who is a collector and sells books to <sighs> fuel her lifestyle of great books. She has had a lot of luck with Ulysses. I've had mm, moderate. This is the Modern Library Edition. Modern libraries are very cool. This is a company who issued classics in a smaller format so that they could be more affordable to the everyman. Uh, this is something called the Giant. So these, um, these are longer books that are just slightly larger and it's sort of a special run. Um, this one, I can show you the cover is a nice red, is a nice shape, a dust jacket. I did not notice until I got home. It has some writing. <laughs> uh, these sell for anywhere from maybe 10 to 20 on eBay. It cost me five, so I'm hoping to make a grand total of possibly $2 after fees. But when you only pay $3 to a book, I'll take it. This one says copyright 1946 is the last date on here, which is pretty cool. That is 40. So, Bonafide vintage, more than 50 years old. Not bad. This is pretty neat. <sighs> Arc de Triumph by Eric Maria Remarque. R Remarque. Maybe. I'm bad at pronouncing things. Um, he wrote All Quiet on the Western Front, which is or is about to be a movie. So this is actually a good one. The copyright page says 1945, so just the end of the war. And somebody has tucked in here an article about the book. Does that have a date on it? 1996. So someone tucked this away thinking, oh, I have this book. I think this is the first edition based on what I've seen online. It doesn't have a mark. Uh, it doesn't have a publisher's mark. But the cover looks right. It doesn't have a price listed on the dust jacket, and that concerned me. But apparently that is also correct. And then the, I can show you, this is the D. Appleton Century Company, Inc. publisher, which I've never heard of, so I, they don't really seem to have publisher points. This is what the copyright page looks like. There's just the date. There's nothing else that would tell us the edition. But browsing around online, other people call their first editions, and um, when I look at them, it looks the same. So I think that that's what that is. I have no idea what it's worth, really, if anything. I paid $3, so it's kind of a gamble. Kind of fun. Sometimes I do that. And if I make any dollars, that will help pay for the books that I am keeping. So I got something for me to read that I didn't know about, which is the best browsing a bookstore. Something for a present, and then a couple things to probably fund my habit. So all in all, a great day. Also good weather and people watching. Thank you again to everybody who's watched and encouraged me. I really do appreciate it. Comments from people who are readers, it really makes my day. So if you have a chance, please shoot me a comment. Let me know what you think about the shopping videos. And happy reading.